amazing downward spiral come in at ground level without hitting the grass there's no destruction of the turf there uh, this something is wrong with this picture uh, so what is the conclusion false flag operation if you look at the history again if you want to go with a priori beliefs this is the way imperial powers have always operated when Germany was ready to attack Poland Operation Himmler. They dress Pol uh, Germans up as Poles and have them attack, and they uh, killed some uh, convicts and dressed them in, in uh, Polish uniforms and said, uh, you know, there's proof. And you know the Reichstag fire uh, back in 33 when he wanted to get control. Uh, that was all an inside job, has been proved absolutely by now. Uh, when Japan was ready to attack uh, Manchuria, uh, they blew up their own uh, railway at Mukden and blamed the Chinese, and that was their excuse. Uh, would the United States do such a thing? We've done it many, many times. Uh, remember the main incident at uh, they got us uh, to take over Cuba. Uh, same thing, the same war um, the in the Philippines. It's been admitted now that we started the uh, the battle and blamed the Filipinos. Um, we all know about the Gulf of Tonkin. Uh, we know about Operation Northwoods, where the military, the Pentagon, devised this plan to uh, pretext, they called it, pretext for attacking Cuba. Uh, Kennedy turned it down, but other presidents would have accepted it. And this plan included killing Americans uh, in order to, uh, as a cause for war. And even one of the projected scenarios, they call it a, a remember the main type incident, said we can blow up one of our own battleships and uh, blame the Cubans. Um, likewise, when we were going to take over uh, uh, half of Mexico, the part of the United States that I live in now, uh, California, we stole this from Mexico by, uh, by starting a battle that we then blamed uh, Mexicans. Uh, for uh, a president, uh, for uh, a future president named uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln, called uh, the claim that they had struck first uh, a terrible deceit. Uh, so we've done this time and time again. So if you're going with a priori beliefs, you should say, well, probably just a priori, we would assume 9/11 was a false flag operation because we know these people had plans already to attack Afghanistan already. They've been wanting to attack Iraq since 1992, just waiting for the waiting for the chance. And also, Iran. Uh, Richard Pearl says everybody wants to go to Baghdad. Real men want to go to Tehran, and now it looks like they're ready to go. So uh, I implore you, reveal the truth. And uh, by revealing the truth, maybe we can prevent uh, another false flag operation. Thank you very much. Man kan spørre seg selv, hva i all verdens rike er det som skjer? Når man her har en litteratur, jeg startet på Rupert fra 2004, og alle disse bøkene, og særlig da 9-11 and American Empire, som ikke bare David Ray Griffin laget, men også Peter Dale Scott, den nye Pearl Harbor, kanadiske, jeg har vært gjesteprofessor og besøkt Kanada ti ganger i mitt liv, og har kontakt med veldig mange av universitetene der, fra Halifax til Toronto og så videre. Og her snakkes det om det, det lages, det lages eh, journaler og det hele. Eh, I Italia snakkes det om det, og i Norge er det altså absolutt helt stille. Så kan man spørre hvorfor har ikke jeg da? Hvorfor har ikke jeg skrevet artikler og så videre? Det er fordi at det ja, er litt, kanskje feig, litt rett. Og så kanskje det vil ramme noen andre som er i nærheten av meg, for eksempel politikere. Jeg mener, eh, kanskje det får konsekvenser som er uheldige, og jeg tror at veldig mange tenker på den måten, at eh, ved å komme med så drastiske nyheter, så er det at du rett og slett igjen blir idiot. Jeg har vært idiot mange ganger før. Eh, mot asbest, da var jeg idiot. Mot røyking har jeg vært idiot. Mot, eh, altså, jeg mener, jeg er en sånn eh, yrkesmessig idiot. Og så når da ting har skjedd etterpå, så 
som har blitt revir, så er det at man fremdeles har glemt at man tok disse sakene tidligere. Do you think, when shall I really start? When shall I start, really, to talk truth? <laughs> when shall I say what I think is scientific right? If it doesn't happen now, perhaps I can't really talk from my grave. So it was a very strong appeal from this professor from Texas University that if you really want to, uh, to speak the truth, you should do it now. And uh, with all the information, I got new information today also here, I would say, let's give this Griffin the Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize. I think that we should, or the truth movement, or I mean divide it between them, but at least that is a way to get some kind of information out 